What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon vlog on the channel and today we're here in Las Vegas. I actually just ate some uh, lunch, a <laughs> really, really uh, late lunch at Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay's famous restaurant. <laughs> I went to Walgreens and CVS earlier this week and I can't find Pokemon cards anywhere on the strip. A place that, you know, has a lot of gambling and stuff. You can't find any Pokemon cards anywhere. So we're gonna go meet you guys at Target and hopefully find some Pokemon cards. So right now we're in the lift on the way to, uh, to Target, Best Buy, and we just actually saw a Walgreens as we're passing by. So after we're done at uh, Best Buy and Target, we're also gonna stop by Walgreens to see what they have there too. So stay tuned, we have a pretty action-packed Pokemon card hunting vlog. So we just pulled up to the Best Buy right behind us, and there's actually quite a few stores like here for shopping. It's like a nice little shopping plaza, shopping strip. So I was not like expecting to, to do more than Target today, but we have a, we have a fun journey ahead of we have a fun journey ahead of us. If you guys like these vlogs, make sure you guys check out the playlist link down below to binge watch a bunch more. But let's go on Best Buy and see what's good. Pokemon cards, Pokemon cards, Pokemon cards. Where are you at? We got the toy section right here. We got a bunch of Super Mario stuff, just like we saw last time. The Pokemon cards were pretty close. Ooh, there we go. We hit the mother load. Got a bunch of Pokemon cards here. This is way more stocked than the last Best Buy we were at. Bunch of Vivid Voltage, a bunch of Darkness Ablaze. We got some cool Battle Figure kits. Ooh, Galar starters right there. Vaporeon, Cubone, Jigglypuff, Magikarp, Pikachu. This is like, oh, it's $50. That's a lot for these action figures. What else we got? Oh, we got the Battle Academy. Okay, would highly recommend this. This is a really good way to get back into, or get into the game if you want to learn how to play. I actually got my girlfriend uh, into playing the card game because we bought this. Really fun, has three decks inside. Really good value for 20 bucks. But yeah, it looks promising, guys. We have a bunch of stuff here. So I think, you know what we're going to do? Oh, someone, someone opened up a Vivid Voltage pack right came out of the blister. I think we're going to grab, I think we'll do two packs of... Uh, pack from Best Buy here. Ooh, they also have a Pikachu right here for the silver. We also have a silver Pikachu right here for the 25th anniversary. So I don't want to spend too, too much money on the very first store we get into because, you know, we're spending a lot of money here in Las Vegas. But uh, by the looks of it, they got a lot of packs here. So we're going to grab, I think, two packs of Vivid Voltage and we're going to keep it moving. You feel it in your soul. I from all right, so our first store of the video is done. Now we're gonna go to Five Below and uh, Party City because apparently they might have those like $1 packs that have three cards inside. I've never opened those before, so I'm hoping we can find some today. Uh, but yeah, we got two packs of Vivid Voltage, which we're gonna open up later in the video. Me all the time. So I've never shopped at Five Below before, so I'm gonna curious, I'm really curious what we're gonna find here, to be honest. Ooh, it's a dog. All right, let's check the back right here. Oh, I can, I think I see some toys. I'm not too sure. I really have no idea where to look for cards. Oh, looks like we found the card section right here. We got a bunch of uh, classic stuff. Cool, Ooh, a jigsaw puzzle. We got some Uno, Rolling America. So we have a good amount of card game stuff here. Check it out, we got an Uno Mario Kart. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I like that, I like that. What else we got here? We got some Jenga, some other stuff. No luck with the Pokemon cards just yet. A bunch more card games. Let's keep it moving. It doesn't look like we have anything Pokemon related. I think I'm gonna ask an employee. Oh, uh, excuse me. I was wondering if you guys had any Pokemon cards here. Pokemon? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, so I just spoke with the employee. They said they keep them at the cash register so people can't steal them and stuff. But yeah, right now they are sold out anyways. So uh, the employee is actually really helpful. They're gonna go check the back and see if they have any in stock. Also, the prices for like everything in here are so much cheaper compared to like the strip in Las Vegas. Like everything is way, way overpriced in uh, the downtown like Las Vegas area. So like a bottle of Coke is like $3 in the strip. Here it's $2. So we're gonna grab some vanilla Coke. Everything will be fine. Look at this sunset guys. This is beautiful. Las Vegas is so nice, man. Next up, last store here before we get to Target and then maybe the Walgreens. We got Party City, baby. Let's get it. All right, we are on the hunt now for some Pokemon products at Party City. I haven't been into a Party City in forever. I think they used to be called like party packages back in the day. But we're gonna look for anything that is Pokemon related. So by the looks of it, it is all categorized by like themes. So you got Despicable Me stuff, Harry Potter, Power Rangers. Oh, I love Power Rangers. But check it out. We found the Pokemon Isle. Let's go. All right, let's see what they have. 
And uh, let's get out of here right away. First up, we have the, uh, the Pikachu Pinata up there. Looking pretty cute. And then over here is where the Pokemon Isle shines. Look at all the stuff. We got a inflatable giant Pikachu. Okay, that's pretty cool. Got some uh, some plates right here. This is perfect for everyone's birthday parties. I actually probably got to hit up party packages or party city for my next birthday party. Bunch of these Pokemon wristbands. We got some loot bags. They got everything. They got the blowouts. They got some more stuff. I can't find cards though. Like I can't find a single card. Oh, check this out. We got cups. Ooh, we can get these cool little cups for a dollar dollar thirty US. Not bad, not bad. We got some smaller ones here too. Okay, I like it. We got scene setters. Oh, it's like a wallpaper kind of thing. That's kind of cute. So you can take like photos and selfies in front of it. Oh, this is this is where the money makers are though. We got a party game. It's like pin the Pokeball on the <laughs> the Pokemon. And then we have a swirl decorators. That's pretty cool. Happy birthday. Some more goodies. Table decorating kit. Ooh, we got the deluxe Pokemon hat. This is cool. That's actually pretty cool. Six US dollars. That's not horrible. That's not bad at all, actually. But in terms of actual Pokemon cards, we can't find any here. So let's get going to Target, where they're most definitely going to have some. Oh my gosh, we just witnessed a car accident. That's Whoa. that's wild. That was mad. Um, but yo, there's a Jollibee here, so we might have to come back for Jollibee sometime because I haven't had Jollibee in a while. But we just witnessed a car accident. What the heck? That's the car that got hit. Damn. His tire got messed up. Oh my gosh. It's like making a really bad sound right now. I feel so bad for her. I wish I was recording when it happened because that would have helped her so much. All right, there is the beautiful Target, the promised land, and we have Walgreens just across the street for right after. So let's go inside Target. All right, we are on the hunt now for some Pokemon products and I couldn't help but notice they had a uh, Pokemon shirt right here. Look at that, that's pretty cool. This one, that's it. They got some Naruto too. That's actually pretty cool. And some Animal Crossing. But yo, let's keep it moving. All right, so we found the toys and games section. Now it's just a matter of actually finding some toys and games and some Pokemon. We'll keep you guys posted. All right, it is looking promising. I found a small card section. We got some Uno in here, some regular cards. Ooh, they got Deluxe Uno too. But where are the Pokemon cards? Ooh, all right, it's uh, it's honestly not looking too promising, guys. We got some Halo figures here. Fortnite cards, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I can't seem to find anything Pokemon related, actually. A lot of non-Pokemon stuff here. I'm hoping it's gonna be close because we got the Bakugan section right here, Beyblades, my fingers are crossed, it's on the other side of this, maybe? Perhaps, we got Baby Yoda. Ooh, we saw this at Costco the other day. Or a different variation, yeah, we saw a different variation of this. But they got Mario Kart Hot Wheels, which is so cool. You got Blue Yoshi out of this one. This is kind of tempting. Oh, look at this. Mario Kart with Shy Guy. <gasps> that looks awesome. Ooh, no luck on the cards just yet, but check it out. We found these cool Eevee backpacks. That's pretty interesting. These are going for $35 each, and they got these cool Nintendo Switch uh, controllers here for $28 each. This wireless one is 55 Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, so we just asked an employee for some help. It said, she said that they'll be on this back wall. So looking promising right now. And uh, the moment of truth. Are there cards? Oh, I see it, I see it. I see it, check it out, Pokemon. And there is the inventory that they have. Bruh. Not looking too promising. Uh, oh, cool, they, they got some Gundam kits. Never would have thought I see Gundam kits here. Um, but yeah, let's see if we find any Pokemon cards in here. It's looking like really all sold out right now, so not looking too promising. We do have some more cards at the hotel room, which we do get to open up though. All right, so we took an L looking for Pokemon cards here at Target. We're gonna head over to Walgreens right now, but I do know that sometimes they have two different sections for Pokemon cards, depending on the store. So yeah, let's see if they have any more cards at the front of the store. And of course we have Walgreens up next. And uh, if we can't find anything, we are also gonna open up a Celebrations ETB in this video. All right, if the camera is shaky, it is because I'm holding like four bags at once with the same arm. Um, well, uh, Walmart, Target did not have any Pokemon cards, however, I see a GameStop in the distance right behind me. So we're gonna go to GameStop. They'll probably have some stuff. And then we're gonna go to Walgreens and then we're gonna go to the hotel. This has been a long, long day, a long, long day of adventure. So yeah, let's get the GameStop.
Done at GameStop. We actually just got kicked out for filming. They do not like you filming in GameStop. I don't know what it is about GameStop, but GameStop's like the one store in particular that's super, super talk secretive about like all their stuff that they do. They did have Pokemon cards, so I didn't get to vlog that, but they did have Pokemon cards. They had packs of Vivid Voltage and they had packs of Chilling Rain. Now the thing is, they would only sell them in bundles of uh, five or four. So it was four blister packs for $20. I'm like, nah fam, one, you, you, you kick me out for filming and I'm not gonna buy your, I'm not gonna buy your cards, bro. So we passed on GameStop, let's check out Walgreens and we're gonna end the day off with some awesome Pokemon card openings. All right, we are inside of Walgreens now. The hunt is on for some Pokemon cards. Hopefully we don't get kicked out like GameStop for filming. We're likely gonna find the Pokemon cards like sealed away and stuff like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide the camera until we actually get to a toy section. Actually, it looks like we kind of found the toy section right here, and it is not looking too promising. Ooh. We got all the card games, Uno and stuff here. Pokemon cards, Ryan's toy reviews, Pokemon cards. Yeah, so this is the Pokemon card section right here. I see the MJ trading card assessment or uh, assortment stuff. No Pokemon cards at all. Two packs of Vivid Voltage that we ended up buying from Best Buy, and we're also gonna be opening up this Elite Trainer Box for celebrations. And if you guys do like these styles of vlogs, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. It helps me out a lot in the YouTube algorithm. It feels so weird to be opening up Pokemon packs and cards like outside of Toronto. Like we're here in Las Vegas and I'm just opening up Pokemon cards casually in our hotel room. I'm not really one to gamble, like as I told you guys earlier. So this is like my favorite form of uh, gambling, you could say. Let's see what we can get. Oh, the camera, there we go. That's that's a bit better. Oh my God, the lighting is a bit weird. We're gonna see what we can do about that. But here we go. First pack is going to give us a full art B. Oh my gosh, what a way to start off this video. And honestly, the centering looks really good on this as well. Can we pull back to back bangers? Let's find out. Let's find out right now. We got the Celebi pack art. And uh, I will be like amazed if we end up getting two back to back hits in a row, just like that from the Best Buy packs. Here we go, Dark Energy. This was like my first time buying Pokemon card from a, uh, what should we call it? From, from Best Buy. All right, let's keep it moving. We got a Nuzleaf, we got an Eevee. A uh, garbage right there, Shuppet, uh, Choodle, Reverse Hollow Dialga, and a non hollow mud sale. Next up, we have the Elite Trainer Box. So here we go. And uh, we're going to do a giveaway for the sh not shiny Greninja, it's the Greninja Gold Star. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway for this video, comment down below what were the last like Pokemon products you were able to find in store. And of course, just hit that like button as well to enter the giveaway. So good luck to everybody in the giveaway. We're gonna start off with all the uh, regular booster packs first, and then we're gonna hop on over to the celebration. So let's do this thing. And I think this video is a bit longer, so we're just going to straight up pop open these packs and uh, not do the card trick. Ooh, we got a Beedrill non-hollow Chilling Rain. And I think this is actually the better setup. My background looks pretty cool, actually. I like this like wallpaper we have in the hotel room. The Chilling Rain pack, what can we pull? Let's find out. Galarian Surfetch or Farfetch. And wow, Blaziken VMAX Rapid Strike. That is nice. Next up, we got Battle Styles. Can we pull a Sleeping Tyranitar? I would love to get a second one. You know, we already pulled one already. I'll leave that video uh, as a card in the top right hand corner. Let's find out. We have a non hollow Salazzle. Darkness Ablaze. We got two Darkness Ablaze packs actually. So we might be able to pull a Charizard. Our odds are looking pretty nice. Here we go. A Feebas, a Sentrit, ooh, nice, a full art Cabo trainer right there. Nice, nice, nice. I'm a big soccer player myself. You know, well, I'm, not, I'm not a big soccer player. I really enjoy soccer, okay? So uh, it's cool to see we got Cabo right there. We're on a pretty good streak. We got two, v we got one VMAX, two full arts right there. So let's see what we can get now out of this next uh, Darkness Ablaze pack. Ooh, white code card. Let's do this thing. And we have a... Ah, oh, a hollow rare, hollow rare Arctazult right there. 10 packs of celebrations, so this should be a good one. I honestly really, really enjoy uh, celebrations ETVs. If you guys are on the hunt for any still, uh, you guys can of course check out my website, sneakertalktcg.com. We of course have celebrations products, of course. So uh, let's see. And a Cleffa from the Classic Collection. Okay, not bad, not bad. And a uh, Sol Galeo as our last card there. And all the code cards are white, if you guys don't know. They're all white code cards for celebrations. So here we go. We got a Yevatel, a Palkia, a Lugia, and a Full Art Pikachu. But yeah, we're going to head out for dinner real soon. I got to make sure we have all these packs done and open in time. So here we go. 
Next pack is like pack number three or four. We got a, wow, okay, let's go. A uh, Blastoise from the Classic Collection. I love that OG art, and if you guys don't know, Blastoise is my favorite starter Pokemon, like fully evolved of all time. That looks awesome, I'm very, very happy about that. And our last card is a, uh, a Zamazenta V. Can we get like all three of the starters? That would be insane, but we got one already. You know, Blastoise was a really, really big pull. All right, we got Lugia. We got a uh, Cosmoam or Cosmog. Ooh, nice. A uh, Rockets Admin from the Classic Collection. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. And a Professor's Research White Co card, of course. Groudon. A uh, Cosmoam. A Lugia. And. Hey, a full, or not full art, but a, a Pikachu VMAX. We got a surfing Pikachu VMAX right here. Five packs left, a lot of chances still to pull some more heat from the classic collection. And if you guys haven't seen me open up the other like products from Celebrations, I of course have a full playlist. I'll leave it linked down below. There we go, we got a Palkia, Cosmoam, a Clay Doll from the classic collection, and a flying Pikachu V. I think the clay doll is like one of the more common ones, so that's why I'm not that excited about it. A Cosmog, yeah, Cosmog, and a uh, Reshiram, and a Mew. Wow, we, that's the first Mew of the day, so not too bad. Mew is actually quite playable in, uh, in quite a few decks, and I'm hoping that the 2022 season for Pokemon uh, TCG does go down. It's looking promising. I've seen some people tweet that they've like uh, secured their tickets and stuff for London, so uh, yeah, hopefully it goes down this year. We got Lugia, we got a Ho-Oh, and a Zamazenta V. Final two packs of the video. Wish me luck, and of course, if you guys haven't yet entered the giveaway for the Greninja Gold Star, make sure you guys comment down below what it's been like hunting for Pokemon cards in your area, and uh, if you've had any luck opening any, and uh, get any nice pulls out of them. But here we go, we got Palkia and a Dialga, followed by a Cosmog, yeah, Co no, Cosmo, Cosmo, and another Flying Pikachu VMAX. We keep getting all the Pikachus. Last pack magic, let's do this thing. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to binge watch some more Pokemon openings or vlogs just like this. But here we go, we got a Dialga, followed up by a Cosmog, and a, oh, Reshiram, all right. Last card of the video is going to be a, ooh, a Lunala. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.